Hello and welcome to uh, my video. I'm Mirkatsu, uh, proper name Seymour Yang. Uh, I'm a Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Uh, I kind of like leg locks, so uh, I'm always really keen to promote the idea of uh, students who are new or a bit scared of leg locks to use leg locks or add them to your game or at least study them so you're aware of them. Um, this review looks at the work of uh, Lee Remedios and he's just released uh, a, a, a video called Introduction to Heel Hooks and it's really really rather good and I recommend you have a look and it's especially aimed at people who are um, brand new to the leg lock game and just want something really simple, clearly explains, a really gentle guide from someone who uses them rather well and is passionate about people learning the sport. Now Lee is a, a former MMA fighter and currently a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Uh, Lee Remedios. Lee's very, very active online. We've been friends for quite a few, few years. I've uh, met him a few times as well. And, um, he, you know, he's, he's a very, very interesting chap. Very, very, very well informed. Very well experienced. Uh, if, he, if he shows you something, then you know it's absolutely been tested and it's rock solid and it's, it's very good. To get to Lee's uh, introduction to heel hooks video, you have to go to the Jiu Jitsu Brotherhood website and look for Lee Remedios here. And when you click on it, you'll see the various um, abilities to get it. It's only available as a digital download. And when you purchase this DVD, I keep calling it DVD, it's not a DVD, you're not getting a DVD, but for the sake of this review, let's call it a DVD. You get um, one single file and it's, um, uh, which is slightly annoying because I would like I you're kind of you're probably used to the online stream versions on Fanatics or other websites where each technique is divided into chapters. Um, but when you get a digital download and it's just one big chunk of a file, you have to kind of <laughs> you kind of have to work out your own timestamps, which I've handily done, and I'll, I'll put on the written review. But you can see I've <laughs> written down all the timestamps of what his chapters are. So. Uh, Hopefully, if you go to my written review, that will be useful. I'll put a link on my uh, description for that. What I think is useful with uh, Lee's video is that he absolutely assumes you have no knowledge of leg locks at all, and more specifically, heel hooks. He's referring only to heel hooks. Um, let me bring up his video, actually. Welcome to the introduction to heel hooks instructional. This instructional is aimed at people who have no clue on heel hooks. A lot of people haven't trained them and they may even be a bit scared. So this is for you. My wife Sam here will be my Uki. She has very, very little jujitsu training. Um, she doesn't know heel hooks. I'm gonna teach her how to heel hook as part of this instructional. And you can follow along and learn the skill set as well. So uh, I wanna talk briefly about the presentation and uh, the content of what Lee describes. Um, the interesting thing about this video compared to most other DVDs is that uh, whilst Lee spends most of the time showing techniques, he also encourages his wife, Sam, who, let's r remind ourselves again, is completely new to jiu-jitsu, has never really done it before. And by him, her doing the techniques as well on him, she kind of learns in real time alongside with you, the viewer. So I think that's a really refreshing approach. Uh, it's certainly, I certainly found it very, very uh, engaging to watch. And if it's engaging to watch, I'm not nodding off, like in some DVDs you are nodding off, you know, I, I'm sure you, I'm not alone in this. Uh, and the whole thing is very, very short. The whole DVD is, uh, the whole set is about 40 minutes long and he covers a, a, a fairly large number of things. They, uh, you can see the, the list of contents on my, on my blog reports of this. But he goes into talking about what is a heel hook in terms of the mechanics and what it does to somebody's leg. And he also goes through uh, how to execute it from different setups. Uh, and he keeps things very, very simple and very, very, um, shall we say, uh, easy to learn um, and pitched exactly right at people who are completely new to heel hooks. So in this clip you, here, you can see he, Lee has shown the, the, the basic inside heel hook and then he's got Sam to try it and to get her to understand how to feel the tension. Um, this is very much like how you, would, you and I would probably learn 
doing a heel hook for the very first time. And I think it's really interesting to watch and we can all learn from it. Even leave that on the heel, thank you very much, if I'm hurt. Okay, <laughs> lift, lift, lift your hips into it. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see on the camera how bad that looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. During the sections where Lee talks about entries, because of course you need entries before you, uh, you can actually get to attempting heel hooks, um, he suggests that the single leg X position is the best uh, platform with which to begin learning uh, to attack the legs. And I would agree with that. When I teach my own classes, uh, I always um, begin with single leg X as, as a really nice entry method for attacking the legs and the feet. Uh, in this example, you can see uh, Sam is, is having, Lee's just shown how to do the single leg X entry from the top. So Sam is just going to go through it. So it's, I think it's worth seeing the clip because remember Sam has never done any uh, he, well, in his words, never done any heel hooks before, and he's certainly she has very little experience of jujitsu. Uh, put this knee through the middle here, yeah. and you're going to put this foot over the top and sit down into the single leg X. There you go, nice. Okay, from here, pass my foot across and enter the saddle position. Yeah. You may want to triangle your legs, it's, it'll, it'll keep a nice tight grip on, on my leg here. So, the first escape that we spoke about was when the opponent tries to roll out. If you keep this locked in place, that shells my knee, and I physically can't roll out. Okay, now you need heel exposure. So I'm gonna hide my heel. You could lift my knee, so here, keep, keep this together, and use both your legs together to lift my knee, and that'll turn me over and expose my heel. Okay, so that, that, that's, that's one option you could use. So anyway, the, the, just a small example of, of uh, how, what the methodology or, um, and the way that Lee is presenting this information, getting Sam to do the techniques that he's just instructed you. So it gives you two chances, the viewer, to learn the technique. You learn it pretty much like a standard tutorial where an instructor is giving you uh, visual information to learn from, but you also get to see how someone who's completely new to it, which would be the, uh, analogous to you, the viewer, is learning it and kind of making mistakes and he has to correct her and that's exactly how you would do it um, the same thing if you were learning techniques so you're kind of learning two three times uh, and I think that's a very very clever format I don't think it works for every single technique but I think as an introduction to certain concepts and uh, uh, simple fundamental techniques that's a really nice way of presenting the information now it's very interesting that later on uh, in this uh, in this very short uh, tutorial uh, Sam is dispensed with and uh, in order for Lee to show the more complex setups, Lee brings in a more experienced uh, training partner, uh, which is necessary because you kind of need that react reaction from a partner with which to then do the secondary take. And I'll show you what, you mean, what I mean with this uh, second example. I'm going to go to a reverse X guard. This would be a normal X guard. I'm going to go underneath that leg here, here, underneath. And because his weight is already here, the rest of him is light, and I can lift. If I couldn't lift him, so you think, well, I can't lift the guy, he's, 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 too, he's too heavy. If, he's, if he makes himself heavy, and I can't lift him, no problem, I'll pass that foot across. We're doing this because I can't, because his weight is here. So because his weight is here, I lift with the reverse X guard. I collect the other leg, and I do that back step here, that cross back step. And I get that it can be confusing if you haven't seen it before. Once I get to here, I chop him down and I'm into my heel hook. So the reverse X is it's kind of a nice, fancy, uh, show-offy technique. You know, the person's lifted into the air, the legs swivel, and then you get into the saddle and then the heel hook. And um, to the sort of novice viewer, it looks like, what kind of wizardry is this? And I must admit, I'm the same. I'm terrible at trying to do the reverse X, but... Uh, Lee breaks it down really, really nicely, keeps it really, really simple. Um, and that's all because he, he bases all, most of his leg lock um, setups on this uh, back step principle. And I'll show you the video that he posted, which really opened my mind uh, as to what he meant. Lee. And Lee yeah, is the smaller research. of the two for sure. Yeah, Lee looking to pick up that oh, line nice again. And, I mean, beautiful entry, oh. another hill hook attempt like there. Yeah. And there it is, I mean. Very, very beautiful. I mean, what a performance from Lee Remedios.
I've been asked about the false route that I pulled off at Polaris. The entry is just a straightforward back step entry. The more important part is understanding the leg positioning, stopping your opponent escaping their knee line, making sure that you have braking mechanics, you have to get some heel exposure, you need to stop the secondary leg. You also need to understand guard retention, framing, distance management, which is all fundamental to Jiu Jitsu. The false route entry is just a concept. There are plenty of back step entries. You've got a straightforward back step from the open guard, You've got the Imanari roll, you've got the cannabis army flying scissors. You've got reverse X guard into backstepping whilst you're upside down, but it's all just backstepping. And once you have good leg control mechanics, the entry can become relatively straightforward. So there we go. I just wanted to show the little clip uh, that Lee posted. Let's cancel that. Uh, or, um, which kind of pre -pre previewed this whole uh, instructional that he has here. Um, yeah, I really, I really like this, this format that he's used. As I say, I think it, it, it doesn't work with all jiu-jitsu concepts and techniques, but in this particular case, he's obviously identified a way where it would, the easiest method to show something is to kind of almost like show and tell, almost like try and sh look, I'll show you it, but look, here's somebody who's completely new doing the technique without any prior practice. And if she can do it, you can do it too. And I think that's really, really fundamental. What, perhaps if I, if I could critique it a little bit, um, the, the way you a a acquire the, the video is just one chunk video and it's not broken down into chapters, which I personally, I like to slip in, dip in and out of certain techniques uh, rather than kind of fast forward and rewinding through bits that I, I don't want to see. I guess we're a little bit uh, spoiled by uh, the likes of BJJ Fanatics and other streaming content where you can see the chapter headings. Um, it's a minor point I suppose really this is um, for me this is a this is a video that because it's very short as I say it's only about 40 minutes long you can watch in its entirety in just one afternoon or one lunch break uh, pretty much absorb the information that you need to know and then you can cherry pick the, the drills and the, and the certain setups that he can with a trusted training partner, partner later on. Uh, that would be my main gripe really. There's no real, also there's no real mention of heel hooks and its place within the, the sphere of the Jiu Jitsu game. I guess if you're buying this you already know that you want to learn heel hooks but you should also be aware that some competitions, especially if you're white belt, blue belt, purple belt, won't allow you to use heel hooks. Um, but that kind of concept I think is changing a lot in most academies, certainly at the place where I teach we are bringing heel hooks in at a very early stage uh, from beginner all the way up to more advanced competitors um, and of course telling them, in, informing them about the rules and when you can and when can't use it. There is a chapter which I'm not showing in this review but there is a chapter which of course Lee covers the safety of heel hooks um, and how to use them safely and I think that's a very important chapter. He drops that in sort of halfway through the, the whole set. Um, and it's well worth uh, taking note of if you're new to Hilks because the last thing you want to do is be very enthusiastic and crank on something and hurt your partner. Um, that being said, uh, the whole setup is very straightforward. It's, it's, I like the little, you can just about see here, let me bring this up, that every now and again you'll see that Lee uh, adds in uh, sort of uh, text, text um, notes, if you like, uh, uh, in there. And, uh, and I think that's very useful as well. Again, so he's just trying to make it as good as he can in terms of throwing the information. Kudos to the, to the makers at Jiu-Jitsu Brotherhood. They don't, they're not the most prolific of instructional makers, but when they make something, it's always quality. Uh, I've reviewed other things in the past, uh, for example, from um, Oli Geddes and Nick Gregori Gregoriades. Um, they're always very, very good instructors and always very, very good quality. And it's nice to learn from people that are, I also consider my, my friends and people that I look up to in the Jiu-Jitsu community. So well done to Lee and to Sam and to all the crew. So uh, thanks for watching my video and I hope that if you do go on to uh, purchase or get hold of Lee's copy of Introduction to Heel Hooks that you write a comment on my review and see if uh, how it fitted you and how, how it worked for you. Um, it's just the beginning. Uh, I'll post in my written review a bunch of other uh, suggestions for introductions to leg lock videos that uh, I think would be really, really helpful. Uh, I mean, just taking in isolation, Lee's video is prop. It's, it's, it's literally just an introduction. I, I think it's, it's not enough to sort of get you going and start um, breaking 
breaking people's legs. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, it's a good start, and I like the format. I'm really keen to see what else uh, he and Sam can and can do in in subsequent releases. So. Um, stay tuned for further reviews. Um, check out the, the written blog version and um, happy heel hooks. <laughs>